Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Soul Eater episode number 19. In the previous episode we got to see Medusa bringing out like trying to not trying to he, she was successful in kind of sealing uh, the Shinigami principle for a few uh, I think for an hour yeah for an hour and by that time she will have to like uh, unseal the demon demon god uh, or like uh, bring him back like that's his, like that's her like goal so and at the same time uh, soul and all of the others are also trying to like stop them to uh, do that so it will be a problem uh, if the demon god gets out because apparently he is like I think like he is like so powerful that he has to be sealed like like he's being sealed for a reason must be for a reason because uh, like the most probable reason is because he is a lot stronger and cannot be killed so I'm thinking like uh, the reason is something like that and so it will be a problem uh, if he gets out so yeah like uh, the previous episode was like a start uh, to I think this will be quite a big arc I'm, I'm not sure I'm, I'm just guessing this will be a big arc because this is some serious thing so yeah so without further ado let's get started with episode number uh, 19 of soul eater okay I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started okay so here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> okay. And here's the seal. Oh, he he's okay. So. Like in the previous episode, we also kind of see him, saw him fainting. So I thought, like, something must have happened to him. Yeah. This guy, we've not seen him before, like, in the previous episode was the first time. Subtitles are weird. Like I can understand like uh, the Japanese names, like Meister and the uh, Weapon. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah okay so is he going to like say everything oh my god yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's going to say <laughs> and I think people will not believe him I don't know let's see like when you're presented with a truth which is so shocking half of the people won't believe it like they'll think like yeah he must be joking or something like that but let's see, like, uh, I could be wrong in this case as well, because Shinigami Sensei is quite respected. So, it might not, like, people might believe him as well, like, the majority. I hope they believe him, because, like, people need to know.
Okay, here we go. Hmm. All right. Before I build. Okay, so okay. Okay. Oh, that was. Wow, he looks cool. Okay. Damn, the design of these characters. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot of bandages. Oh my god. Wow, he looks <laughs> quite beautiful. Oh, oh my god. Mm, okay. Oh. Okay, so So I think that is like the demon god now like that they are trying to unseal medusa and all oh he also knows it damn okay well He wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's kind of. Or you can do it. I don't know. <laughs> like. All right. Oh my god, here it is. That little imp or whatever that is. So did something like this also happen to Ashura? Like like that is happening with Soul now? and he was unable to like stop it from within him okay damn oh my god these things are like oh blair is here oh blair is going to i think uh, chase the, the those witches because they are mice aren't they I don't know, I'm just guessing. Like cats and ma mouse. <laughs> okay. And this is destroyed. Oh no. Okay. Mice. I I'm sure she's going to like chase them. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, something he's just feeling something. All right, who is it? Is it free or Ragnarok? Uh Krona. Krona, isn't it? <laughs> What? <laughs> oh my god, the troll level in this <laughs> Oh my god <laughs> Marcus Fades Hmm yeah, like it will take time to transform, so they'd better like keep to their weapon forms. Okay, yeah, obviously, like someone will s try to stop them, and the other half will go. Okay, let's guess. Uh, this is Krona, isn't it? It must be Krona. Should have a trick. All right. Who is it? Oh, Medusa herself came. All right. I thought she was probably like going to send. Free or uh, Krona, either of uh, either of them. First line of defense. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good plan. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, at least he, w yeah. Okay, like he also has shadow powers. It's too loud. 
Okay, okay, okay. Run, run, run like the wind. Okay. Okay, this will be more problematic. All right. All right. Yeah. Hmm. What? Why is she closing her eyes? Oh, what? Wait, what? Oh. Okay, she went through. Okay, all right. Well, run now. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, never like turn your back towards your enemy. <laughs> okay, we'll see. Oh my god, Stein. <laughs> oh. And there he is. Wait, you... They were supposed to stop him. <laughs> oh my god. Well... <laughs> oh no, stop. <laughs> oh my god these two like <laughs> what oh <laughs> okay Hmm, handy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Oh, so he's the only one. Well, he has to stop him. Stop them. Yeah. However. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. He is prepared for everything. Oh no, oh no, okay. That's an annoying technique. Okay. Yeah, sh oh no, she's going to, okay. Okay, oh my god. Wow, okay, that, that was cool. Okay. 
Oh no. Oh. Thousand snakes. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's going to like Um oh, okay. Oh, oh no, going against the plan. Well, I know like they, she has kind of like, well, they have like a history. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, like Black if, if Blackstar goes like uh, forward, he'll get a more like powerful um, opponent. Because I think like uh, it must be like Free is a lot stronger than um, Krona. I think like that is some like a free is like a person who was like what can I say a lot like experienced and everything as well so so I think like he is so like Blackstar's like Blackstar's uh, wants to like stand out wants like more like powerful opponents to so that's perfect for him and um so oh okay so blackstar and kit are going to fight um free and uh, the other the other witch uh, the frog witch and <coughs> maka yeah like this is like this is more what can i say uh like this is uh more acceptable for them because like maka and uh, soul obviously had kind of like a thing with Krona and uh, Ragnarok so yeah like the part like the way they are like uh, going to fight now is okay like this is like more okay that's the end yeah so as I was saying like this is more what can I say like a favorable type of like um like they were like uh, the teammate like the enemy they're going to fight against are more favorable now because obviously like Maka and uh, Soul had kind of like a thing with uh, Ragnarok before and uh, Maka at that time was unable to do anything to stop my Ragnarok and Soul got hurt so that things like also kind of like uh, is 
what can I say? She always thinks about that and al always like gets discouraged and uh, all of these things. Like it is like kind of like a thing from his her past, like a demon kind of thing from her past that she has to fight and uh, overcome to <coughs> like move forward. And I think like this is perfect, uh, like a, a perfect a perfect opportunity for her to fight against her. Mm, fears, uh, technically not fears, but fighting is something that she was unable to do before, and like uh, to overcome it. So yeah, this is like perfect. And uh, okay, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, first, we got get to uh, we got to hear a little kind of like a background of the whole thing that is uh, what the demon god is and like how the like Shinkami sensei is connected to everything so I have to say like <laughs> like uh, when Shinigami sensei was uh, young I mean uh, in his past he looks a lot what can I say mm, a lot <laughs> cooler <laughs> like uh, that mask and like uh, the only thing I can see that is kind of different now is his mask like his mask is a lot kind of like a lot goofier now and previously like he really looked like uh, a god of death kind of thing so yeah like it was a lot scarier a lot cooler but now he is more like um, like he has mellowed out we can see but obviously like that can change uh, like if like something like uh, threatens his um, like uh, his people or like uh, people he, that he tries to protect so if something like threatens his family or like uh, the like he's like the Hokage here so like uh, I, I'm sure like uh, the mellowed mask and like the soft kind of face will definitely be like become scarier and uh, return to the previous uh, way he looked um, so yeah so yeah, that is the thing, and um, we got to hear a, a little bit about the demon god. That he he was like, so he was uh, scared of everything. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, and like uh, by everything we mean also his weapon as well. So like uh, that kind of thing. Like and they are also saying that he was a person all bundled up with suspicion. So like he trusted i think uh, he trusted nothing and he was strong as well like uh, we can see here like uh, when uh, shinigami sensei and every uh, principal and everyone came uh, to the scene uh, he has he had defeated each and every witch so he was strong and uh, suspicious of everything like he was kind of like a paranoid type of uh, uh, character so yeah like that kind of became uh, like what happened here just a sec um, just a sec let me just check oh yeah uh, they said that he was he started to harvest human souls and uh, like because of the uh, suspicion on everything and because of like his scary nature he like it also say like he came to rely on power and started like like uh, turned away from the laws and began harvesting human souls so that was like i think the first kishin that came into being and uh, like uh, he also like ate his weapon and everything and shingami's uh, principal was forced to seal him and he was so strong like he had to uh, like skin him out and use the skin to seal him like that is kind of um, <laughs> a very uh, what can I say uh, violent and unique type of sealing method like we've uh, like in a lot of like uh, in a lot of different animals we see a lot of people who are sealed and all but like this is like the first like uh, this type of sealing method is the first time I've heard like skinning an enemy and sealing that uh, enemy with the skin itself like that is like brutal okay <clears throat> and uh, then uh, and I think like here it is like uh, soul always like gets into like 
his um, inner consciousness and that little imp is there and he always asks soul to like leave everything to power and like embrace the power and uh, like stuff like that so i think like something like that also i'm like i'm just guessing something like that also like happened to ashura and he was unable to like control the power so i don't know like i think like soul is also facing some kind of situation like that but like if he is able to control this power uh, within himself he would become a lot strong and like he would like keep his sanity intact so yeah okay so that's that and uh, we also get a little bit of uh, appearance from blair and uh, she's going to hunt down mice obviously like <laughs> mice and cat <laughs> mortal enemies and um, then uh, then we get like to the main portion here like where like medusa comes to stop them and uh, <coughs> like they were able to uh, what can i say go past medusa very easily quite easily like marka had the most problem because she was like at the last and all of the vectors uh, came like uh, like uh, were like uh, focusing on her after like the two of them were able to get away somehow so marka had it the worst but she was somehow able to like conquer her fear and get past the problem and uh, then like we get this fight kind of like a short little fight scene between uh, medusa and uh, stein and uh, maka's dad and i have to say like this is like one of the most unique fight scenes i've ever seen like like the vectors and stuff like how they like they like medusa was controlling the environment for his adva uh, for her advantage and uh, like this fight scene was quite, quite unique like we usually get uh, in a fight scene we usually get like people like punching each other and like uh, like slicing each other or shooting each other stuff like these but like this was so unique like i'm really impressed by these like this type of fights where like here's the thing like medusa just used like her power in a very unique way like like first of all like just let me go to that portion um just a sec and here it is so like first of all like uh, stein stitched medusa's leg and punched her heart she and then stitched her again to the like wall and everything so after that let's see what medusa does here okay uh, and then like uh, stein goes to like strike medusa but medusa uses the vector plate to like change her direction and like she like uh, Stein is unable to go further he gets pushed back and Medusa using that time steps steps on that vector plate and like accelerates her uh, uh, speed and goes towards Stein and knocks him out so yeah these type of things like and after that as well like how she uses the vector plates like like he she goes like uh, head first towards Stein and then using the vector plates she changes her trajectory and like moves in a very like what can I say like he moves she moves like this 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 and goes towards Stein's back and then strikes again like these kind of things like this was extremely unique like I really enjoyed this fight scene like it had nothing like no like like spectacular things or there was nothing like uh, it was like amazing animations nothing like that but the way they uh, like carried it out and uh, the fight style was extremely unique and i'm really looking forward to like stein versus uh, medusa in the i hope that in the next episode we get uh, another fight obviously we'll get because like uh, unless and until the next episode completely focuses on the other enemies we should get so i'm quite excited to see like like their fighting because like medusa uses like a unique type of power which is like vector plates and like i think like we'll get like um a more kind of like uh strategical fighting 
and more uh, like I, it won't be like uh, like a uh, punching and uh, hitting and dodging it won't be like that it will be a more strategic fighting and i really want to see like the continuation of their fighting because like the glimpse of fight that we saw in this episode was so good i really enjoyed that fight it was so amazing like it was done extremely uh, cleverly and yeah so and then we get to see like um uh, black star reaching uh, ragnarok and krona <coughs> and uh, like yeah thinking about it now like that like the combination of like people they were going to fight were kind of not appropriate because maka and soul obviously had uh, a kind of um, like what can i say um, a type of thing like uh, like a revenge or stuff like that uh, like they had a thing like that between uh, krona so like uh, making ragnarok fight uh, him was uh, what can i say was not like should not have been done so like uh, they uh, like obviously maka came in and said that yeah i'll 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 handle him because i have a thing uh, uh, like i have something to settle a score to settle with him so yeah that was okay like uh, like thinking about it now that like this is like the correct combination so <clears throat> Because obviously, like uh, I think Free is a lot stronger than um, uh, Krona, so like it's best that uh, Blackstar and um, uh, what's his name, um, Blackstar and the uh, like Kid, Kid, Blackstar and Kid faces him, because like Blackstar previously, uh, as far as I can remember, yeah, Blackstar previously faced Free, so yeah, this is like the best combination. Like you need to have information about your enemy. Uh, for like getting an advantage in your fight so obviously uh, Maka and um, uh, Soul uh, knows a bit more about uh, Krona than Blackstar did so like yeah this is the best combination and obviously by like uh, fighting uh, uh, Krona, uh, Krona again Maka will like gain uh, the self-confidence or like uh, like she was scared before and like she will like gain that um what can i say yeah self-confidence to move forward because like she has a little bit of a kind of like an inferiority complex as far as i can uh, like i've seen her like she like thinks like yeah i i was unable to like do anything soul always helps me i am unable to save uh, like help him in turn stuff like this she thinks stuff like this so like she needed this like you have to face your demons to like move forward so this was like the perfect uh, kind of situation so let's see like uh, we'll like we'll probably get a lot of fights coming in the upcoming episodes like yeah <laughs> like it will be like like I, I, I was correct like this is one of like I think this is one of the main arcs here so yeah so let's see what we get in the next episode like I really enjoyed this episode this was like quite fun so yeah guys that was the episode number uh, 19 okay so thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed because that helps a lot and uh, be sure to comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out uh, your opinion about this episode uh, be sure to uh, say uh, like comment anything and uh, yeah i'll be back with a new soul eater episode after one day so yes until then goodbye and have a nice day